What can I do for you? Epperly, my boss. Fashion week just started, so she's a stress case. But my performance review is tomorrow, and I need it to go well. Surely saving tonight will earn you the gold star you crave. No, it will calm her for a nanosecond until she finds something else to stress about. I believe that only one thing can relax Epperly, and it's something that I can't give to her. You need to turn that frown upside down before she pulls out the grading pencil. And you're just the man for the job. I'm not sure I am. I spent the last few weeks trying every trick I know in the bedroom to get Raina to fall in love with me for business reasons, of course. Nothing seems to be working. That's because that's how you win a guy's heart, not a girl's. If you want Raina to fall for you, you have to stop pulling on her drawstrings and start pulling on her heartstrings. And where are they located exactly? In a common connection. You and I bonded over a mutual love of scheming and burlesque. Find something that you and Raina both share. Let your guard down. Show her a side of you that no one else sees. I hear girls love that. Open up and she'll be forced to follow suit. And once you hook her, reel her in, gut her emotionally, and throw the carcass overboard. You really do have a gift. So it's a deal. If I'm focused on Raina, I can't expend energy on Epperly. That is not fair. I give you gold and you can't spare two hours? Think of her as an amuse-bouche. <laughs> you were right, Blair. The view is great up there. It's so pretty. <laughs> Nate. I was just saying how you should come with me and Epperly to lunch. Yeah, sure, I'll go to lunch. As long as Epperly doesn't mind. No, I love that. Great news, Nate is coming to the kickoff party tonight. He's very excited to see you. It's great, too bad I won't be there. Why not? Clearly the party has been a logistical nightmare and my phone hasn't stopped ringing and I can't miss a call. Cinderella doesn't always get to go to the ball. Well, she can if she has all her calls forwarded to her Blackbird and able intern by her side the whole time. I'm not saying to blow off at your responsibilities, but if anything goes wrong, how can you fix it from here? It's not a good idea. But you can still do your job and have a fabulous night at the same time. Nate can't wait to see you. Trust me, it's like riding a very cute bike. All right, but we have to leave now. Maybe I should go make sure the gift bags are being set out properly. No, I'm sure that they're fine. If anyone needs to reach you, you have your phone. Come on, look alive. Ladies, Epperly, care to join me in the bar? Go get her. Nate, where's Epperly? We're having a gift bag crisis. How should I know? She left with this guy she knew from Oxford. What? How could you let some toff just punt off with her? He's definitely gonna try and hook up with her. And you should have heard this guy's accent. Epperly was right. Oh, you can't take your eye off the ball. I, I need to fix this. Let's go. You are gonna help me get 650 gift bags from 29th Street in 20 minutes. Or... Oh. So help me, Archibald. I will tell everyone what your favorite movie is. Hey, do not knock the sound of music. It's got nuns and Nazis. Julie Andrews was hot. Epperly's been in with Stefano for over an hour. But it was just gift bags. And we still got them there on time. This is all my fault. I wanted Epperly to get laid, not laid off. Did you get fired? No, of course not. The party was a huge success. Are you having a psychotic break? No, but I am taking a break. I quit. <laughs> Blair, at the party, I ran into the guy that I dated when I was living in London, and we spent the whole night together just talking. And he is heading off to Bali to do a yoga retreat, and I decided I wanted to go with him. You're leaving the magazine for Eat, Pray, Love? I guess you can't have it all. No, of course you can. Don't quit. You're amazing at your job. I know. And you will be, too. What? As a token of my appreciation for helping me see what was missing in my life, I suggested that you be promoted to replace me. Congratulations. Stefano's giving you a trial run starting now. This is the office. International Stefano only. Now, your day begins every morning at 6 a.m. with a Milan conference call. No, no, I am a full-time student. I go to Columbia. James Franco could do it. So can you. Where you wanted it all, you just got it. They say the universe has a great sense of humor. That sometimes having your dreams come true can feel like a nightmare. <laughs>